Hello everyone, after spending many days researching about the game and putting in a lot of effort to make a tier list video for you, but because it took too long and I still haven't finished it, I decided to break it down into smaller parts, creating multiple tier lists according to combat class. In the game, there are 5 combat classes, which are support class, brawler class, mage class, tank class, and control class. Today, let's start with the tier list for the support class. This is a very essential class in a team because it helps make your teammates stronger or increases their survivability. I would like to mention that in this video, I am only evaluating the skills of the Primen to create the tier list, so it won't be 100% accurate. There are many factors in the game that affect the strength of the Primen, and I will make another video about the ways to make the Primen stronger. I want to explain that this tier list will have 4 levels, S, A, B, and C, with C being the lowest tier and S being the highest tier. Let's start with tier C, first, I'll talk about Pom Pom. It has the ability to burn enemies, and its passive skills only support the fire faction but randomly affect only one hero. The damage is decent, but its ability to support teammates is quite weak, so I place it in tier C. Second is Startle Heart. It has the ability to attack a column, which is great for hitting heroes in the back row. However, its support capabilities are quite poor. It only increases damage for the ally with the highest attack and raises rage for two allies in the same row. While increasing rage, which is essentially mana for prisms to use skills, is very important, I still find it weak overall, so I place it in tier C. Now let's move on to tier B. First on this list is Wooly Scout. It has the ability to buff shields for frontline allies at the beginning of the turn, which is quite beneficial in battles. However, I think this could be more effectively handled by another class. Its first skill deals damage to a single target, but the damage is quite weak. It also heals the ally with the lowest HP. I don't rate this prism's skills very highly. To make the most out of it, you need to increase its attack because its skills are all dependent on ATK. Next on this list is Veggie Chirp, a purple prism that is very useful in the early stages of the game. You'll have more opportunities to level it up. This prism specializes in healing, and healing is usually very essential for a team. Thanks to its passive skill, if you place Veggie Chirp in the frontline, it will continuously heal allies because the more damage it takes, the more it heals. However, this also makes it more likely to die quickly, so I usually place it in the back row. The longer it survives, the better your team's survivability. Next is Dual Drake. Although I haven't obtained it yet, its skills seem to be on par with Wooly Scout. It has the special ability to increase damage for allies, which makes it suitable for a team with one or two prisms from the wind faction. Next is Blazing Phasaurus. It is a prism that can deal area damage and supports fire faction prisms by granting them an additional attack, similar to Pom Pom. This skill is actually very good if you have a strong fire prism, as it increases damage for fire prisms at the beginning of the battle. I place it in tier B not because it is weak, but because it doesn't support many prisms. Its role as a supporter is not very strong. Next is Eagle Chieftain. This prism also focuses on healing allies and, like other tier B prisms, it can only heal 3 allies. However, it has a passive skill that provides continuous healing to one target when using rage skills. 
Its fourth skill is the strongest, allowing wind faction allies to perform an additional basic attack, with the potential to attack up to five times in one turn. Let's move on to Tier A. The first prism to mention is Brodosaur. Its rage skill increases rage for all allies, which is extremely useful as more rage means stronger skill usage. At the start of the turn, it supports wind allies and also increases its own damage resistance. Its fourth skill is what makes it special, it reduces the damage of all enemies by 10%, and this effect stacks each turn, up to a maximum of three times, providing significant support to the team. Next is Grass Otter, a Water Faction Primate. It steals HP from enemies to heal the ally with the lowest HP and also deals poison damage, which is very strong because it bypasses both defense and shields. Additionally, it can reduce the rage of enemies, preventing them from using their skills. Its fourth skill supports water allies by increasing their damage reduction, making it a valuable asset to teams with water primon. Next is a purple primon, a rare primon named Nautiluda. Although it is a purple primon, it is ranked in tier A. What makes it special? Skills 1 and 3 only heal teammates, which is quite common like other primons. However, its skill 2 can revive the first Primon that dies. If it revives at the right time with additional healing or shield buffs, it's like you're using 7 Primons to fight against 6 Primons. Especially with its fourth skill, when its HP is below 30%, it automatically increases its damage reduction, gains 1 Rage, and also heals itself. Since it is rare, it is very easy to star up. Let's move on to Tier S, everyone. The first Primon we'll mention is Woodlander. This is one of the best healing Primons among the support Primons. It heals all teammates, and with its skill 3, it heals the ally with the lowest HP and also increases that ally's damage. It also has the ability to convert the damage it takes into healing for all teammates. The thing that helps it survive the best is its fourth skill, which heals it by 5% HP for 2 turns every time it loses 10% HP. Next is Sifted Siren, a supporter from the Water Faction. It can heal all teammates, and when a teammate dies, it revives them while also healing them for 10% of their HP. When using skill 3, it heals one teammate and also increases that teammate's damage reduction. With its fourth skill, it heals the teammate with the lowest HP at the end of every turn. In my opinion, she deserves the number one spot, don't you think? Finally, we have Feline Dancer. It can heal 3 allies and also create a burning shield. The burning shield can burn enemies, and combined with its fourth skill, it also increases damage for allies. It can also heal itself after losing 10% HP each time. With skill 3, it can stack burning shield points. Although I don't own these last two primans yet, based on their skills, I know they deserve to be in tier S. 
Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section, and I will listen and respond to you. I will continue to create tier lists for other classes if I receive your support. Thank you, everyone.